Hi guys and welcome back and welcome to what is going to be a very action packed day ahead. The A45 is all inside because I mentioned in a previous video that this car needed a bit of love. So last night I spent about two and a half hours cleaning it. I'm pretty proud of the job I did actually. It's shining very, very nicely. But let me just explain what is going on today. I'm picking Paul Wallace up in the R8 because we are heading over to Dub Customs to collect his BMW M3, which has been wrapped by them. Also, we're gonna be doing a Q&A in this video. 100,000 subscriber Q&A. Can you even believe I'm saying it? It's a total dream come true to hit 100,000 subscribers. I still honestly can't believe it. But Paul is going to be firing your questions which you sent into my Instagram. And also, coming soon, there might be something sitting in the empty space which is in my garage. But more on that as this video goes on. But let's jump in the R8 and head on our way to find Paul. I have arrived where Paul says we are going to be meeting. He says he's going to meet you somewhere and he's not here. Oh, Archie, Archie, hey. Um, oh, hey. Oh, hey. Yeah. Oh, hey, mate. Doing? Oh, I'm all right. How are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. Just want to hang out because I haven't got a house yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sold the Lambo trying to find a house. But today is all about you, really. Because we are collecting your M3 wrapped. It's going to be exciting, isn't Not, it? Uh, weirdly, they're like, this is the most excited. I feel like the most excited I've been about collecting a car. Like, really? The Lambo, like, I was nervous. Yeah. The AMG, like, all of the big cars I've been nervous but yeah. because the M3 is my baby yeah. I fall in love with that thing every single day and I think this is the freshest look it's ever gonna have right Paul Wallace you are quiz master pass the mic <laughs> testing testing I've got a bunch of questions yeah uh, from your hundred thousand subscriber post on Instagram variety of different race related YouTube related personal cars owned related questions yeah um, and the first one is Dylan 87 uh, has first of all said congratulations on 100,000 subscribers which is a, a pretty cool milestone Thanks number so one is there a body kit or mods coming to the R8? Now we know we, you've done a video on the first mods on the R8, which you painted a few badges. I would like to do stuff to the car. Yeah. After you, you, you sort of text me a few things and a few different pictures. I, I can see it happening. A few companies have bought out some different modifications. Yeah, the little cars. carbon aero bits. Yeah, which are, I could see myself. Do you like them? Uh, I like some of them and I dislike others. Yeah, so watch this space. I do like modifying my cars and it's all part of the plan. The second question from Dylan is, are you going to do an R8 track video? I was going to do this not long ago and I was at Goodwood and I thought that's not the best place. Plus the car hasn't had its PPF yet. So yes, I will be doing it. I would like to bring more track related content to the channel as much as I can because that's what people like seeing as well. Um, so yeah. And I'll, you're good at it. I think the reason why it's not that interesting to see track stuff from, especially my channel, <laughs> but also <laughs> some of the other YouTubers is that like, we have no idea what we're doing. Like we might as well be going backwards around the track. <laughs> no. At least you know what you're doing, which is why like I tune in to watch your track stuff because I'm like, yeah. oh, I could probably learn something from this. <laughs> probably not, but yeah. <laughs> probably not, yeah. <laughs> the car guy R35, all separated with underscores, yeah. drift, rally, or circuit driving? Circuit driving. Yeah. Because either or I think I'll be in a hedge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the others. Um, personally, I feel that's where you excel. Yeah. I thought that's just what I've been brought up around since I was so young and been doing it my whole life until I did YouTube. Yeah. Um, but yeah, circuit. Okay. Mido Fricko, when and where is the next road trip? You tell me. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got your diary in front of me. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know whether he's meaning personal road trip or he's probably meaning with a road right. trip. Yeah. Um, do we know? I don't think we do know. I know we're doing a few trips together coming up in America. We, exactly. I think our paths will cross on a few trips that aren't necessarily road trips. Yeah. We haven't got a European road trip planned, I don't think. Um, but we will be in the same place at the same time on quite a few occasions leading up to the new year. Yes. George Sayer. George has asked, what is your favorite part about being a YouTuber? Now that you have 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> I've classified myself as a YouTuber. <laughs> um, I think it's the adventures that you do and I just love doing it. Yeah. I like interacting with 
the public in terms of people engaging in videos and they're sharing my passion with other people yeah and being like this is what I can do on a weekly basis yeah and it's just fun I sit down at night and I'll be editing for two or three hours but it doesn't feel like work two people that have asked a very similar question so Tur Limons Lemons <laughs> um, and Luke Knights have well, Tur said, who's your favorite YouTuber? <laughs> and it doesn't right. necessarily have to be cast. <laughs> but then Luke has said, you, Sam, Shmi, Paul, Seb, and Mr. JWW are in a balloon, and the balloon is plummeting to Earth. What's you have to throw one person out, who do you throw out? <laughs> that is brutal. <laughs> I'm probably it in the elimination zone. No, I'm no, no. One of the heaviest. Because <laughs> no. you want to chuck a heavy person out, won't you? You can't chuck Seb out. <laughs> no, Seb keeps it going. He doesn't win. No, no, no. That you've nominated. I'll, ch I'll throw myself <laughs> out. What is a very nice thing in what we do is a lot of people say, you must be rivals in what you do because, you know, that's just what it is. But it's not like that. We're all really good friends. We all get to enjoy the experiences together. And us doing that yeah. makes better content for everyone else. What's going on? You're through Seb. <laughs> F17.and Did you get your A45 looked at before you lost another race? So this is something which has <laughs> I Because I have seemed to have lost a lot of races recently Yeah um, It's going to happen The people have been commenting it loads and loads and loads The A45 will be going on a dyno It's going to be tested totally And it's going to be a legitimate thing really Where I put it on a dyno No results hidden and we're going to basically do the test and we're going to find out. I reckon that orange wrap is weighing it down. So the power to weight ratio is... 300 right. brake I think it is now. Yeah. No, I'm joking, it's not. Yeah. I don't... I, I, there could be a problem and I'm onto it, but we'll find out. Talking about A45, Sean McLaren has asked, which car would you replace the A45 with? So, the A45, for me, as a daily driver, looks speed occasionally and everything else is the all-round perfect sound. daily sound because it's got an exhaust system on it as well for me as well is just perfect your m3 is up there I, I like the look of an m3 you can buy it if you want yeah right it's going for way over list i drove it's about 90k at the moment yeah yeah i think because <laughs> of the wheels yeah yeah uh i drove the audi rs3 oh uh, you did 17 i did and i like it a lot it's cool car. Uh, so, I mean, it's a tricky one. The A45 has so many all-round features, the car to replace it would need the same. So we have just arrived here at Dub Customs, and I'm just about to go inside and see Paul's newly wrapped BMW M3, which is gonna be very cool. I reckon it's gonna be looking absolutely amazing because I saw it in the process of it getting wrapped, but it's time to go up close and personal and see it. Here it is, looking absolutely mega. The grey, that's not Nardo grey, that's gloss grey. And these aftermarket wheels from Z Performance look absolutely mega as well. As you can see here, there is tyre writing on the car, but this is going to be changed. It's not going to be gold tyre writing, it's going to be changed to white tyre writing. Isn't that right, Paul? That is correct. That is correct. From the back, how nice does that look? We go over to the other side and we can see the white tyre writing. Where is it? Oh, there it is. How much better is that over the gold? And And you bought that? Wow. I didn't buy it <laughs> I'm living. I'm gonna live in the bush again. Balboni look oh he loves it. But this isn't staying, this badge. It was a trial and error on the badge to your Twitter fans and uh, they said don't do it basically. Here it is in the light coming out well in the light, I say light, it's dark. Um, but what they're doing is they're just testing this tie writing to make sure all is well. How cool does that colour look? That looks absolutely epic. Oh my good god. That is wicked. Oh yeah. Alright, what are you doing Paul? What are you doing? Paul? Uh, I need to get some food. Are you, you, I'm, I'm actually letting you drive it. Yeah, yeah. Can you seriously just take it slow? I think.
think I almost <laughs> had a heart attack. I'm not good lending my car and he absolutely booted it. But you can hear it from so far. <laughs> I can still hear him. <laughs> oh my good God. What do you reckon? It's quick. Uh, it's so far. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's so good. <laughs> so I'm now back home and the Audi R8 is all parked up alongside the A45. There is something else I need to talk to you guys about that I haven't mentioned yet and I haven't mentioned in the Q&A and it's seriously exciting. I'm gonna to have to put my camera down because I'm getting a little bit too excited. So I think my excitement is kind of contained. One of the questions which I get asked a hell of a lot is, am I going to be getting a new car? And I can reveal that I am getting a new car. Personally, I can't believe it myself. It is crazy. It is gonna go alongside the R8 and the A45 and it is arriving in the morning and that slot there is awaiting the arrival. I'm gonna be giving back to you guys for the support of reaching 100,000 subscribers, which is absolutely incredible. And I'm gonna be running a competition in this video. It runs exactly like this. If you guess the make and the model of the car you think is gonna be arriving, you will be within a chance to win a ride in the Audi R8. There will be two winners, and these two winners will be picked randomly from the correct answers. I think that makes sense. So basically, I'll, I'll say that again. If you guess the make and the model, put it in the comment section below. There will be two winners and they will be selected randomly if they get the make and the model correct. And this car is going to be revealed at 5 p.m. tomorrow, UK time. This car is going to be a daily driver. So if you think it's gonna be a Lamborghini, if you think it's gonna be a Ferrari, it's not. So guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow.